all right dear students welcome to talking crs version of psychiatry so if you have the book with you we have 10 chapters in psychiatry so this video is about chapter number one general psychiatry as you know about the concept book idea in concept book uh, every chapter has some concepts like in chapter number one concept number 1.1 is classification in psychiatry concept 1.2 is epidemiology of psychiatric disorder and concept 1.3 is examination in psychiatry and basic terminologies let's go with concept 1.1 classification in psychiatry so here it is the time mentioned you should devote to this topic first reading 15 minutes and the second reading 10 minutes understand classification in psychiatry is two types ICD and DSM it's in front of you ICD and DSM ICD classification international classification of diseases by WHO now the latest version is ICD 11 DSM classification is diagnostic and statistical manual by APA American Psychological Association now the latest version is 5 but I am giving you the older version differences because it has been asked in our exams okay ICD is for all disorders and DSM is for only mental disorders all right ICD is by WHO so followed all over the world and DSM is in US ICD axis war primary diagnosis number one associated disability number two and contextual factors contextual factors means psychosocial factors attributing to the illness and this multi axial approach of DSM has been asked in exams but this has been asked in old exams not the recent exam because after dsm 5 launched in 2013 14 then dsm 4 was not useful but what is access one all psychiatric disorder diagnosis except mr and bd mental retardation and personality disorder come in access 2 access 3 is general medical condition access 4 is psychosocial and stress factor and access 5 is global assessment of functioning what do you mean by this global assessment of functioning it is a measure of disability like you have DALI disability adjusted life years in uh, PSM we have GF okay but you must know that now DSM 5 is the latest DSM which does not recommend multi axial approach now these axes are not used and there is no GF score in DSM 5 rather it uses HUDAS WHO disability assessment scale all these points to remember are exam MCQs. Mark questions. There are three major purpose of classification of psychiatric disorder. There was a question asked in the exam. All are purpose of classification of psychiatric disorder except option was communication, comprehension, control, and coordination. And answer was coordination. Communication, comprehension and control are the purposes of classification in psychiatry. This is a neat PG question. Alright, that's all about page number 2 and concept number 1.1. Concept number 1.2 is epidemiology of psychiatric disorders. Like what is the most common psychiatric disorder? So you have to answer this as per the mental health census. Have a look. Mood disorder per se is 20.8. In which major depression is 16.6. So overall, it is the most common single psychiatric disorder. But if you compare mood disorders with any anxiety disorder, any anxiety disorder is more common than mood disorder. Although individually, the most common anxiety disorder is specific phobia. 12.5%, 12.5%. Okay, OCD is 1.6%. Then others you can see here. So, any anxiety disorder is more common than mood disorder, but major depressive disorder carries the highest prevalence. But most daily loss is due to depression. Most daily loss is due to depression. This is Kaplan textbook data, US data. Coming to concept number 1.2 and page number 4 psychiatric terminologies. This will take some one hour time. In the classes also, I teach this for more than 2 3 hours. So first question is psychiatric history taking. There was a question asked in the AIMS exam. Please use a highlighter for this. 
the reliability of the information provided by informant should be assessed by the following parameters the question was basis of reliability of the information given by the informant depends on all except educational status biological relationship duration of stay observational abilities answer was educational status because the relationship with the patient is important intellectual and observational abilities are important length of stay with the patient is important and degree of concern with the patient is important okay then another question asked in aims exam psychiatric personal history includes all except and the option was mm. marital history occupational history food preferences okay answer was food preferences answer was food preferences marital history is important then your occupational history is important food preferences are not important got it then comes your mental status examination in mental status examination always first is the motor activity the word used for motor activity you can mark here cognition cognition means motor activity okay hyperactivity means increase motor activity it may be goal directed or it may be purposeless if they ask you goal directed hyperactivity is seen in answer is mania which is purposeful and if they ask you hyperactivity without a purpose is seen in answer is catatonia please mark these mcqs increase activity Uh, with purpose is seen in mania. Increase activity without a purpose is seen in catatonia. Then stereotypy are the movement that are repetitive and non-goal directed, and mannerism are the movement that are repetitive and goal directed. This is all India PG question. Need PG question. Okay, ticks. okay ticks can be habit forming also again all india pg question the question was all are habit forming except answer was temper tantrums neat exam question psychomotor agitation is increase activity psychomotor retardation is decrease activity now catatonic symptom increase muscle tone at rest abolished by voluntary motor activities stupor akinesia plus mutism posturing abnormal posture wax flexibility body can be placed into any part echopraxia imitation of action echolalia imitation of speech ambivalency and ambi tendency ambi tendency is an all india pg question negativism is resistance to the movement and speech is a part of the mental status examination rapid speech Uh, we have to say speech volume productivity reaction time etc etc mood and affect are the component of emotions mood definition may be asked a pervasive and sustained emotion that colors the person perception of the world mood definition can be asked okay then alexithymia is asked inability to express emotions inability to express emotions mood can be apathetic i don't feel anything okay euthymic dysphoric dysphoric means unpleasant mood these all are increased mood euphoria expansive elated exaltation ecstasy affect is the outward expression of the patient's inner experiences mood is what you feel and affect is what you express that's an objective assessment appropriate affect means in accordance with the mood inappropriate means not in accordance with the situation smiling at the failure of his rival but it is incongruent to the feeling inside labile affect means rapid changes in the tone mood emotional incontinence means they cannot leaky emotion they cannot control their emotions blunted effect means reduced 
flat effect means absent then form of thought include neologism new thinking loss of association incoherence word salad derailment is the other name for loss of association then flow of thinking increase productivity is flight of ideas Continuity of thought include perseveration, clang association, circumstantiality over inclusion reaching the answer, tangentiality over inclusion not reaching the answer. All these definitions are important. I have made some videos on these all symptoms available on YouTube. If you type circumstantiality, Dr. Sachin, or if you type circumstantiality, Dams Delhi, you will find a video. Now, content of thought is what we think. Okay. And content of thought include obsession. Question asked in aims and delusions. Delusion can be bizarre and non bizarre. Bizarre means not possible, non bizarre means possible. Then, disorder of position of thought include thought insertion, thought withdrawal, and thought broadcast. Insertion incoming, withdrawal outgoing, few people getting to know, broadcast everybody. Perceptual disturbances include hallucination and illusion. Okay, misinterpretation of stimuli is illusion. False perception without a stimulus is hallucination. There can be auditory hallucination, visual, olfactory, gustatory, tactile, pseudo hallucination, inner subjective space in which the patient himself says, I am hearing voices inside my mind. Reflex hallucination known as synesthesia stimulus in one modality causes perception in other modality. extra campaign beyond the limits of sensory field somatic passivity is strange sensation being imposed on the body by some external agency it's a first rank symptom depersonalization and derealization are feeling of detachment from self or from the environment then comes sensorium Sensorium is described quantitatively as well as qualitatively that is y-axis as well as x-axis alert lethargy little slowing obtundation more slowing stupor semi coma and then coma Okay, so alert clouding drowsy sopor coma death Stupor this term has been asked so many times in your exam a kinesia plus mutism in an awake alert patient then twilight state is well defined that interruption in the continuity of consciousness. Please mark twilight. Many students don't know the definition of twilight and oniroid. Oniroid patient is disoriented and has visual hallucination. These three definitions stupor, twilight, and oniroid important. Okay. Orientation is tested to time, place, person. First, always time. All India PG question. Concentration is tested by serial 100 minus 7 subtraction test. Memory can be immediate, recent, remote. An abstract thinking is ability to form a concept and generalize. We have to test it by giving a proverb or similarity test insight aims question i have no illness grade one i may or may not have an illness grade two i have an illness which is caused by external factors those are either medical or magical Grade 4, intellectual insight, I have a psychiatric illness. Grade 5, emotional insight, I have an illness for which I am supposed to take treatment. Judgment and reasoning, social judgment, test judgment. Social judgment in socially, um, social situation like what will you do if your son has fever. Test is a hypothetical situation. Okay, then please mark this Bender Gestalt test is the most commonly used screening test for organic brain dysfunction. In this, we give the patient a target figure and we tell him to copy the design. This tells us about organic brain dysfunction. MMSC, although is the most commonly used test, total score is 30. 
mini mental status examination these are the components of mmsc then we have projective personality test two types tat and roshak thematic a perception test we show some photograph and tell the story subject has to tell a story looking at the card what is happening what was happening what is going to happen and this is roshak in plot test the correct spelling is r o r s c h a c h then some investigation in psychiatry given in neeraj ahuja although we don't get done on them very routinely okay so one important you need to remember total and differential leukocyte count we do it in clozapine lithium and carbamazepine lithium causes leukocytosis carbamazepine and clozapine causes agranulocytosis mcq mcb we do in alcohol dependence because uh, alcohol causes macrocytosis renal function test we do in lithium and liver function test we do carbamazepine valproate serum electrolytes we do in lithium echocardiogram thyroid function test again lithium drug levels are checked for lithium 0.6 to 1 carbamazepine 4 to 12 while per 5200 tcs mainly not up clean imipramine and close up in 350 to 500 mu g per liter eeg we do to differentiate pseudo caesar from caesar brain electrical activity mapping provide the topographic image of the eeg data then this is the latest and the best to differentiate pseudo caesar from caesar video telemetry eg then comes p300 in schizophrenia then polysomnography has been asked in aims polysomnography includes all except eg ecg emg air flow oxygen saturation and ct scan we use for dementia mainly non nph ct scan and mri Okay, now let's start the research tools. Dexamethasone suppression test for depression. Again, serum prolactin level Caesar versus pseudo Caesar. It is increased in Caesar, not in pseudo Caesar. Five HIA. I am only marking those which have been asked in the exam. Suicidal. When the patient is suicidal, five HIA is increased. So this is all about chapter number one. So what you are supposed to do is. after you read chapter number 1 theory attend the class make some notes you are supposed to solve mcqs of general psychiatry from dams question bank once you are done solving put a tick mark here okay and whatever extra points you get from dqb please write them here I'm given some empty space these are the extra points enough and once you have done icd and dsm you can uh, recall like this this is by who this is by apa this is for all disorders this is for only mental this is three axis this is five axis this is the meaning of active recall tables so that's all about the chapter number 1 catch me up with video of chapter number 2 thank you